Taylor Swift just dropped a bombshell on us at her SoFi Stadium concert a couple days ago. A woman goes into labor at a Pink concert. Tyrese Gibson from Fast and Furious Movies is suing Home Depot, and I'll tell you why, and Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg might be having a cage match of a completely different kind. That's coming up with What's Trending. What's Trending with Julie, brought to you by Dakota Coffee with two locations in Dothan, one in Enterprise. Scan the QR code to join their coffee club for a 10% discount. They've been here for 30 years because they are good. DakotaCoffee.club. Okay, so does Taylor Swift ever even sleep? She was performing at her Super PAC SoFi Stadium in L.A., and she let out some huge news. On the big screen, she unveiled the cover art for another album. Well, it's kind of an old album, but it's redone. It's the redo of 1989, which is first released in 2014, but you know how she's doing her version of all of her old albums. So October 27th, we're going to have 1989, Taylor's version. And you know, the Swifties are losing their minds. No one steals the show from Pink, except maybe a woman giving birth. Now, we already heard about a fan of Taylor Swift going into labor, and now it's happened to Pink. Uh, she was doing her summer carnival tour in Boston, and this woman, Mama Angela, was going to this show with her mother and sister-in-law. And get this, this was in Boston, but she traveled all the way from Albany, New York for the show. But once she sat down, I guess that traveling really got to her. She felt contractions and started going into labor. And they tried to order an Uber and Lyft, but the cars weren't going to be there in time. They walked it. Thankfully, the baby was, he was uh, healthy and born just fine. And uh, it's a very eventful evening for this mother, Angela. And she talks all about it. She's going to have to reschedule another concert for Pink. So Fast and Furious star Tyrese Gibson is suing Home Depot over racial profiling that happened in February. So he and two of his construction workers that work for him, on Wednesday, they said that they are suing them because they experienced outrageous discrimination and profiling, consumer racial profiling. Um, and they're suing for more than a million dollars in damages. Now, this million dollars is the number that reflects how much Tyrese is saying he spent at Home Depot in his lifetime. I can feel that. That's how you know you're adulting. But they're saying that these people purposely interfered with and refused to process a transaction based on the groundless suspicion of Tyrese and the other two guys arising from their skin color and their national origin. I don't know, but we'll just see how this ends up going if it even goes to court. Elon Musk might not fight Mark Zuckerberg at all. It turns out it might be a cage match of a different kind. We didn't think it was going to happen at all because earlier this week, he said that he might need surgery before any fight could happen. Now he's suggesting, suggesting that they do a different type of cage match. They talk things out. It wasn't his idea, though. Someone proposed it to him on X, saying that they should do a cage match debate on how to build an amazing future. I don't know how much money people would actually pay to watch that on pay-per-view, but Elon's agreeing. We'll see what Zuck says. Don't forget to click below and subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. What's Trending with Julie brought to you by Dakota Coffee with two locations in Dothan, one in Enterprise. Scan the QR code to join their coffee club for a 10% discount. They've been here for 30 years because they are good. DakotaCoffee.club.